So I'm going to teach you a couple of tips and tricks to make your Photoshop images look awesome. Most of the modern pictures that you see today are often made up of lots of different images and I'm going to show you how you can take two images, merge them into one to create one awesome picture. Let's go! Okay, so here's the image we want to use. If we copy this image by going Control C or we can go to Edit Copy and then go to our main image and then go Edit Paste or Control V and say OK to that. And if we move this into position by pressing V and then we can move our layer around, that seems good. And what we'll do now is if we unhide or uncheck or unlock even our bottom layer and uh, unhide the top one, we want to cut out the center of our cut. So we use the pen tool and if we click, that's like there and there. Here. Right, we want to go slowly around, left click and drag to make a curve, and we we'll go all the way around the cup. Sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve. So we delete out our, the center of the image. If we bring our ship layer below that, and then we can turn it on. There we go. What we want to do now is create some peaks so the edge doesn't look so harsh around the edge. So if we go to Puppet Warp, and what we want to do now is we want to left click where we want to pin our movement. So anywhere where we've got pin in, it won't really move. Uh, and then if you click on a pin, you can move that particular spot. So if we left click there, if we click on that one, make little peaks around the edges, it looks like waves are lapping up the side of the cup. So what we want to do now is create a new layer and if we use I on the keyboard to sample an area of colour on our C and press B and then we can brush in that colour using a very soft brush and what we're going to do in a minute is create uh, just like a, a, a kind of like a C reflection on the outside of the glass and we'll do that by changing the blending mode let's try changing that to colour now I want to make a, the reflection of the lifeboat and to do that we're going to duplicate the lifeboat layer and if we can do that by Control J on the keyboard and we'll move it down below our colour layer we just made. Press V on our keyboard, we can move that up, and Control T, and we'll flip that horizontally, and we'll make it a little bit bigger. Let's see, that's about right, move it into position. Now if we press E on the keyboard, that'll bring up our eraser, and we can smooth those edges down. That's much better. There we go, nice and smooth. And then we'll move that layer down below, and then we'll give this an overlay as well and we need to drop the opacity of it because the reflection is a bit strong at the moment and so click on there let's make it like ooh, we only just want to see it so 8 or 12 we'll go for 12 there we go now we've got the reflection to the edge of where the water meets the cup so to do that I'm going to make a new layer and drag it right to the bottom and um, using a, a like a grungy brush let's make sure we've got white selected it's going to like paint in a really white area. This is where like the water is going to shine on the edge of the glass. It looks a bit weird at the moment, but we'll fix that in a second. There's a go. Just paint around, all around the edge where the water is. Let's keep going. That's looking pretty nice. Um, but it's really sharp at the moment. Um, so what we want to do is blur that out. So if we go blur, let's try a Gaussian blur. That's cool. And we extend the radius of that. And now we've got like a, like a lighter edge of the cup where it looks a lot more shiny. And what we'll do there is just duplicate the layer to enhance the effect a little bit more. And um, that just makes it a little bit more prominent. So just rub it back a little bit just so it doesn't look so um, that is too much. Always good practice as well to name your layers. So I'd name my ship ship layer and also name my um, reflection layer as well. So just so it helps me keep a track of what's going on. I think that's good practice just from the outset really being lazy, didn't do it when I first started, which I should have done. So what I want to do now is create more foam effects around the edge. And to do that, we're going to use our clone tool. So you alt click the lay area you want to sample, and we'll just paint that around the edge to make it look like there's like white froth where the C is meeting the edge of the cup, and we'll just do that um, all the way around the edge. What we're going to do now is a colour adjustment just to make it all blended together and we we'll use a photo filter for that. So we'll go to change it to a cooling filter and we're just going to bring the um, intensity of that down by reducing the opacity to about four, about half really, 50. Uh, that seems pretty cool. 
Now I want to create a vignette, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all the layers together and uh, I'm going to go to um, filter and then lens correction and if you go to custom we can add a vignette by simply moving the slider to down to the darken amount and it just darkens those corners for us and I think that's probably it so that's cool, click go OK. We also want to reduce the saturation a little bit just so we can knock back some of those colours. And we also want to bump up the contrast just to give it a little bit more of an edgy feel. Right, for the last bit, what we're going to do is add in a light leak. And uh, that's what all the cool kids are doing at the minute. So there, we're pasting our um, texture that we found online. I'll just stretch it up so it fills the um, canvas. And I want to rotate this around, um, Control T, and um, position it so it's where that bright light is, it's going to be where the window is. Um, if I change to blending mode, first of all so we can see what we're doing to lighten there we go it's pretty cool and now right let's move it into place so by pressing V and control T and we can rotate and we'll stretch it out so it fills the area of the canvas now it's a bit intense at the moment so we've re reduced the opacity down just about half and there we go thanks guys I hope you learned something thumbs up if you did also, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.